One player that left um, but might be coming back, uh, <laughs> Romelu Lukaku. Um, you know, we're already seeing uh, as an int- I really love Lukaku, but he really threw me over with his attitude over the past several months. Uh, if he does end up at Juventus, it burns. <laughs> I know that there was discussion that there was a, you know, there was a, a there was talk about a swap where Vlaovic goes to Chelsea uh, for Lukaku and like thirty or forty million. Um, but I think that got that got uh, poo pooed because I think Vlaovic doesn't want to go to Chelsea. Um, was the reports that I was reading? Um, I think it was also yeah. that uh, Chelsea didn't want to pay that much. They were they were in the like twenty million plus Lukaku range, whereas you were looking for forty plus. That. Yep, I mean, and it's 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 leaving Inter kind of holding the bag here because they thought they could work out something to bring back Lukaku permanently. That never happened. Then there's the swap idea with Juventus, and all the while Inter are trying to sign a forward, <laughs> and and they can't because it's whether it's a money thing or whether it's the player's desire or a combination of all of it, they can't they can't get a striker to pair with with Lautaro Martinez, and it's just like, um, you know, I mean, it's you. You know, why wouldn't some of these guys that they're talking about, like uh, Balagoon, uh, Taremi, uh, and now it's going to be Arnautovic, who this could this could work out for Inter. Uh, if Arnautovic can get back to health and kind of be the guy that absorbs the pressure and is the target for, for Lataro Martinez to have the freedom and play the style that he plays. Um, yeah, I mean, it, 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 it would not be... Uh, too much of a departure from the old Lataro Jekyll combination that was going on there for a while. For a while, probably you know certainly not as dynamic as Lukaku. But let's come to Lukaku and everything. There's even a couple of Milan Twitter guys that were saying that he might come to Milan. Um, it's so just this Richard. Whole, it's a mess. This whole timeline is an absurd with Lukaku, right? First, he leaves Man United, joins Inter, has a fantastic year, wins the Scudetto. He confesses his love for Inter, and then he goes, "Hey, I want to Chelsea, peace," right? And then at Chelsea, he sucks. Then says, you know, I really wanted to go back to Inter this whole time. So he goes back yeah. to Inter, confesses his love. He's there. And then now, while well, Inter trying to, you know, re-sign her or, or sign him, he's dealing with Juventus in the background. And then Zanetti's like, oh, wait, what, what are you doing? Excuse me? With our arch rivals? Get the fuck out of here. You're out. You're gone. Right. <laughs> He's smart. That's what he should be doing. You got to sit. You got to have some kind of, you know, common decency with, with, with all these teams. But then now the rumor is that maybe he goes to Milan. I mean, there's, there was a – before that – before – um before that, in the middle of there, it was you know you said Vlahovic for Lukaku and all the Juventus fans protested because they don't want Lukaku. Nobody wants Lukaku. Why? Why would Milan fans want him? And and Kush, uh, Kush, we should go watch his video on him. It makes a compelling argument. I don't want Lukaku. I don't. And for the same reason, everybody else doesn't want him. And he's just a headache. Maybe if he provides, as you know, as Kush mentioned in his video, one good year where he's motivated, wants to like this say screw you to everyone, and has a fantastic maybe twenty goals. I, I can see that working. But man. What a headache this guy brings, and I would be more, as a Milan fan, more co- more concentrating on finding someone who can back up and eventually take the place of Giroud, maybe it's Okafor, but Lukaku's not it, man. He's not it. Well, I'm tired of seeing all these older guys who just can't cut anymore come back to Milan, and I don't, as much as I hate Inter and Juve, I don't want to take one of their guys to spike them, like, screw that. Beat them, beat them on the pitch, not but taking their guys, like, I don't know. You don't want a Mr. X like uh, Fernando Torres anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I, and I and I don't blame you. Uh, I don't either. I, yeah. So do, so, so um, But yeah, no more Lululemon to enter anymore. So, <laughs> I mean, and just the, the dynamic of the ch- dressing room where you go from a, a, yes. a you know Ibrahimovic who was revered as a leader now to Lukaku who you know could be a ticking time bomb in there. So it's there's there's no there's reasons to there's all the reasons not to do it. So. Um, you know, and then there's just his, his some of the brutal things that he did in the Champions League final, playing goalkeeper for Manchester City. So um, that's that's also something that you've got to <laughs> that you've got to put up with as well. You know, you know when he's out there, whose side is he really on, right? Yeah. So 